the uh, audio from San Francisco. Jason Kidd speaking there. Uh, he liked it. To your point, he liked the three-point looks they got early in the game, so they just didn't go down. Is there is there more to it than that? No, I I don't. The threes weren't as much of an issue. There is a lot to the make or miss mindset. Like you, if you're getting good looks, like you, that's as good a look as you yeah. can ask for. Like they had one possession where they got three great looks. Yeah. Early. So I mean, there that one he he teed that up. Like so, I don't concern myself with the looks. I think this was for me. They didn't match the force with which Golden State played. And, and it, what's interesting is, you know, Phoenix, because of how they defended them, they played a lot slower mm-hmm. than Go- Golden State does not play slow. Uh, they're never stationary. They're always moving. They're always screening. They're always in attack mode. Um, and it just seemed to me that that caught Dallas off guard. They weren't ready for it. Um, and sometimes you have to f- feel it and experience it. Watching it on film doesn't always do it justice. And so I just think uh, give Golden State a lot of credit. They were prepared. They knew what happened in the regular season. I, I thought their ability to get points in the paint was incredible. Their ball movement. Uh, they had a ton of assists in this game. I think they had 24 assists. Mm-hmm. Um, they played a great game. Like that – and they've had some other really good games this postseason. But I, for me, that was the best game they played because of how dominant they were defensively. Even though uh, Dallas didn't make shots that first quarter. Right. They dominated that game defensively. And that, Golden that was State impressive. out-rebounded them by 18. Another, yeah. another uh, more evidence of the physical yeah. force you were talking about. I, I want to ask you, the adjustment that Greg was talking about and Stan Van Gunny mentioned it as well. It is difficult to prepare – for the Warriors and that ball player movement because very few teams play that way. So in a game one scenario, how long until you sort of catch up mentally and physically to what they're doing? You know what Golden State does, they test your will because they like to run the ball up and down the floor. And, you know, Greg, you know this win. You got a team like to run like that. It can tend to wear you down. Yeah. And so even though they had a lot of open looks and it really spurred off of what Luka does because they have so many different defensive look. Now you got open shots. You got to make them open shots. But if your legs are a little tired chasing guys like Poole, Thompson and Clay, and I mean, all those guys like to move without the ball. So it can be it can, you know, pay a, a huge toll on you. So now they got to go back. And look at this game. Okay, now how can we slow them down? Well, that's the big question. How do you slow Golden State down? But you got to make them uncomfortable on the other end. You got to make them play defense by moving the ball just a little quicker. Make shots. That that'll help slow yeah, them down yeah, a little bit. And, sure. the, and the Mavericks played at the slowest pace in the entire NBA this season, especially with Luka massaging the ball out yeah. front. That's the way they like to play. So there is an adjustment. And Phoenix doesn't play very fast. No. So going from the Suns, very different offense, and that's lower pace to this Golden State. That can be. A little bit of a shock. And even though they've had success against uh, Golden State in the regular season, that's not playoff Golden right, State right. where the physicality and the intensity is ratcheted up. And I, I just – they're going to have to raise their level. 